four, three. Hello and welcome back to Gotham Sound and Communications coverage at NAB 2024 here at Q5X with Nemo and Dory <laughs> and, and Nancy. Nancy. Um, thanks for being with us. Thank you for being with us, Nancy. It's great. I'm excited to have you guys actually with me at IBC. I had to do this all by myself, walking around, channeling Peter from New York. It's great to have you in live. Very cool. Um, so, you know, brought to you by Gotham Sound and Communications, the only Gotham Sound that also communicates about sound and communications products. All sound, all communications. Anyway, we're try I'm trying different taglines. None of them work. It's so fine. So mine it's is. Fine. Yeah, ready. Go. Great do. wireless audio begins with comfortable talent. Ooh. So if the talent is not comfortable because somebody's changing their batteries or changing a setting, how nice would it be to manage the talent from across the room with a remote control? Okay. How nice would it be to give them the pack to put on themselves? So all about the taglines, good for you, Nick. I love it. Okay, good. Well, very good. If anybody has any, uh, any suggestions, um, you know, let us know. Um, say anything, PG, maybe PG-13. <laughs> But, you know, let's keep it classy, San Diego. Anyway, uh, so what do we got? We're here with the fish and with the water and what, what's going on? I think we did a head count on how many new products we have to take you through today. Oh, wow. And I think there's like six, seven, okay. possibly eight, depending on how you classify newness. All right. All right. So the first thing I want to show you here with Dora, Dory and Nemo <laughs> is uh, the new Aquamic. We released it at IBC and Analog, and now we've got it in Shuraxi and Digital. So everybody knew this was coming. Mm -hmm. The beauty of this, it's got 32 hours of battery life, it and it's fully submersible, along with the Duraplex microphone, also right in the drink. This is IP68 rated to 100 feet, 30 meters. I'm Canadian, so I speak both languages. <laughs> Very good. Yeah, meters, <laughs> I, I don't know how far that is. So uh, that's amazing, 32 hours. And people have been asking us, is this the one that's in the best of show? And it's not, that will come, come with me this way. Okay, great, and while we're walking, I should say that we are live, so if anybody watching on Facebook or YouTube or anywhere in the universe, has comments, uh, questions for Nancy, leave them in the chat and I will relay So this them. is what we were just looking at. This is the Shure Axient Digital 32-hour Aquamic. And this, you didn't see when it was in the fish tank, pogo pin charging. So there's two ways to charge this. You can either do it through the pogo pins at the bottom or the same six-pin limo that's used to connect it to the microphone. That's got a dongle on it that goes to a USB, and you can charge it that way. So pick your charging methodology. And that's what's new on the waterproof line. Mm -hmm. And this product joins the analog 32 hour as well as the six, sorry, the eight and the 16 hour aqua mics that we have had previously. So the whole top tier of our cake. Here. I love this clear cake. One thing I really just want to point out about this that's really nice is how rounded the edges are. Like you mm -hmm. talk about comfortable talent, and that, that is not big. I mean, right. if you look at the 16 hour one, kind of side by side, it is it is similar. Now, um, do this, Nick. Do it, okay. Which one's heavier? Uh, this one's, a, the 16 is a little heavier. That's the 16 yeah. hour, that's a 32 hour. Yeah. It's not twice as heavy, it's, it's, it's not less twice as heavy. 20 grams okay, more, which, we almost got 20 hours more battery life for 20 grams If you were to convert that to pounds, that's 400 pounds, right? You wouldn't convert it to pounds, you'd convert it to <laughs> ounces. ounces. Oh, no. <laughs> you wouldn't want a one-pound transmitter. I can't even It'd do that. It'd be your back. Very good. So um, that's what's new in the waterproof side. Very cool. Awesome. Uh, so comment from Tom. Thanks for the shout-out for my blazer. I had some help picking it out. Okay, what have you got? Okay. On the flexible side, so Q5X has always done flexible transmitters. Hmm. And what's new this year, so this we know... Yes. And we get the wow factor on the flexible transmitters. This is what's worn by professional athletes. This is an eight hour. There's also a four hour transmitters. Really, the beauty is you can control these by the mic commander anyway. So you can put them in standby and extend your life. But the new thing this year for this one is a three pin connector. What? So yes. Wow. We've been asked for a long time about why the one pin limo connector. And we were always saying it's because we didn't want a connector that was actually bigger than the pack. Yeah. And if you look side by side, it's pretty close. Yeah. Yep. It's pretty close. So for those who have um, 
existing inventory of mm -hmm. three pin terminated mm -hmm. mics. Now you've got a solution you can attach to. So is that a, a special SKU or? It's just um, a new SKU. It's just a new SKU. And is there any SKU. new pricing on it or it's the same? Just same, the same. same. That's, that's brilliant. Straight I mean, honestly, out. that for people that have other microphones, like especially with people that are doing Sure Accent, you know, that are mixing and matching, like that opens up a whole new world of stuff and things. That's right. Um, so that's cool. That is and very cool. again, signaling. If we can do it with this, can what's do. stopping us from doing a DPA? Uh-huh. Yeah, right. Yeah. Because with our analog line, mm -hmm. we're compatible with Wizicom, mm -hmm. Electro, and the Wizicom DPA. Wouldn't that make sense to yeah. have an analog transmitter with a DPA connector Absolutely. that was compatible with Wizzy? Absolutely. So that's what's new on the flexible side. Cool. And now for the Best in Show nomination. Oh, let's see it. And wait, before we move on, let me just check Facebook. Make sure I'm not missing anything because you know, when you've got so many different places where people can comment, they comment in every place. Multitasking. Exactly. And you had no sleep yesterday, right? I mean, just tell us about your journey here while I'm. I'm yesterday was this a 24 hour day coming from Canada. Wow. So that was, by the time I hit the sheets, it had been a, quite a long day. My battery was running low. Oh boy. Oh, you, you didn't have the 32 hour one. I didn't one. have a 32 hour I battery. See. We only packed the 24 for yesterday. Perfect. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, let's, let's see the best in show. Best in show. That is this one. Oh. This is the push mic. So you might be familiar with the original format of the coach mic. Had a rocker style switch on the bottom, very boxy and square. And so as you indicated, Nick, the nice curviness yeah. of yeah. the aqua mic. We said, let's do the same thing with the coach mic. So we curved up the coach mic. Mm. We still have a nicely protected rocker switch. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. it's easy to find, easy to use. You're not going to miss it or need a poker to make it go mute. And as we started to, to show this and the functionality of it, people asked for, what about a push button? Mm -hmm. If you can do it with a rocker switch, mm -hmm. what mm -hmm. about a push button? Now, what would you like this button to do, Nick? Um, I would like to, I mean, generally speaking, I would like to push to talk, but sometimes there's a push to mute. Well, you could do either. I could do either one. Okay. You could do that. You could have it a push for permanent mm -hmm. change state. You could have push for momentary mute. Okay. You can have a push to talk back, push to change to talk back mode. And that's software programmable through the mic commander? Or how do you do that? It is software programmable through the mic control. Mm. So the interface I'll show you in a okay. second. So coach mic. Led to push mic, led to oh. introducing this to Major League Baseball in December through CP Communications. Their first thing is they're very used to the vi stiff rocker style uh -huh. mute switch that's was with their Sure Pack. Yeah. So we took the same form factor, added the exact same heavy duty switch, and combined the transmitter and the switch into the same format that they were used to in one pack. It's great. It's very, very sleek. And peekaboo, since we started on the pogo pins with uh, the aqua mic, it was because we needed them for this as mm -hmm. well. And this is the same one pin limo connector that we all uh, know and are used to, or yes. what is that? Uh -huh. And? And, okay. There is one somewhere, somewhere that is not here. Okay. That is a three pin. So you version. can order it with that too? Three pin and that. Wow. That's, that's huge. And that's, that's, I mean, these are really cool, but the, the three pin limo thing just kind of blows that's my mind. That's why I said we lost count. Is that <laughs> one, two, three, four? Mm -hmm. And then five, six, seven, count them in analog? Okay. That's new. Yeah. That On is top very of everything new. else. Um, so, real quick, just comments from the internet. Uh, Evar says hello from New Brunswick. <gasps> Fantastic. There we go. And uh, Guy says push mic looks awesome. Thank you for the coverage. Um, so, great. Awesome. I, I, I mean, I love the baseball stuff, too. Do you want to go see it on the I software? I do. Yeah, I do. All right, because they're working. Okay, let's, let's check it out. So this might actually be considered the last of the product innovation. So this yeah. is our mic control. Mm, mm -hmm. And so often we don't talk about how we manage and control the functionality in big applications. Mm -hmm. And so this is the same functionality with a mic controller plugged into a laptop mm -hmm. and an Ethernet connection. You can see the control of all of the Q5X on the top. If you look along here, you can also see that we have control of, and someone has stolen my Axiant Digital. Matthew, can you get the uh, Sure um, transmitter, please? 
He said yes, because he's not mic'd. <laughs> so when we talked about the push mic, here we go right here, the push mic. You can see that right now the push mic is muted. And if I, ch if I push this. Uh, this one, that one, no. Uh, it should be changed into live. If I had the right one, nope. Wrong one. I might have toggle. Live. There we go. There it is. Okay. Watch this one. So mute. Here's the button. On the side is red. Ready, sash. Click. Little bit of software latency, but there's no latency in the device. As soon as you see the light change, you are muted. Cool. And so within this, there are drop down menus that you can do the selection of what you want the button to do. And you can change, like, is this a touch screen? I think it is by what I saw here. Oh. Maybe it's it not. It is. Look yes. at that. So you can so do you the changes from here. All your modifications here. here. Mm -hmm. Change your frequencies. And this is the mic control, which is the QGH3 instead of the QGH2. Two. Right. Well, that's that's the, the traditional mic commander. Good job. Okay. Quote and model I'm, I'm numbers. learning. I'm learning. You it's did true. your homework before well, this. Well, I did. I mean, we just so we just did a, something with the NHL where they Tell are. Me. Uh, I don't know if, if people follow hockey in in the states, but I hear it's big in Canada. It is big. It is big in Canada. <laughs> and I think the women just cleaned the U.S. clock yesterday. Oh, no. So women's hockey is a thing, and we are ruling it as Canadians. Are you on the team? Tell I am not truth. on the team. Okay. Mm. But we'd like to mic them. Very good. Very good. Yeah, so the NHL is, is coming up with their playoffs, and our service manager is actually a big... Um, Caps fan, uh, DC. And um, anyway, so they just upgraded to a bunch of player mics for awesome. Axiom Digital. So they're, the guy, the team there is very excited about their, their new stuff. It's so wonderful to hear that because they were part of our initial, right behind you. Can you pass me the NHL logoed one? Should be right there. This is part of our origin story with Q5X. The NHL approached us and wanted something robust and mm -hmm. safe. That puck hurts, and yeah. that puck can hurt people and equipment. <laughs> uh -huh. So they wanted to make sure their gear wasn't damaged. So the robustness, the usability, and that's really great because I think you're talking about player mics yeah. on mm -hmm. the athletes. Yes. I'm talking about what um, the coaches yeah. would have worn and the uh, referees. Rest. Yep. And so they were the origin of having this rocker switch. Well, and the interesting thing, too, and something that, you know, we always touch on, but I think people forget is how much customization that, that you guys do. I mean, like, they're, the logo is printed there, and you can do that for anybody. And I know this might be, I know this might be a, a delicate thing, given I'm sitting here with Gotham, and I'm talking about CP communications. That's fine, yeah. But I get we all play together. We're yeah, all we're friends. friends. Yep. So when we showed Michael Mason of CP Communications this device in December, mm -hmm. he said, this will be great for the umpires, but what about you do this too? Yeah. So we sat down at SVG and doodled on a napkin and came up with what this looked like, and they shipped two weeks ago. That's amazing. So that's something that we do pride ourselves in. New product introduction comes from a customer's desire for something that fits their needs. Their needs, yeah. And just like if you want a custom house, you get an architect, we work with designers to come up with a product that is exactly suited for unique customer applications and then bring it to market. Yeah. And then I noticed this has the infrared window as well. So it Correct. can sync with, with all the Axiant. Of our, all of our digital products that mate with Axiant Digital have the IR sync window on them so that you can put them in front of the receiver mm -hmm. and get your settings in place. Yeah. Uh, so more questions from the internet. Uh, Al Minox asked, is the line Axiom exclusive? I mean, the digital, yes, but the analog is analog. The analog, and I'm not sure if I took you guys through it, the analog can be received by Q5X, mm -hmm. both our rack mount and our mobile. Yep. Sure, I'm always going to mention uh -huh. them next. Yep. We know that. Uh, Wizzycom, Yep. because they're so analog, it makes sense to be mated in with mm -hmm. them. Sennheiser and Electro. Yeah. So really, whatever analog gear you are trying to keep going, yep. we're still making transmitters that can give you added life. Absolutely. Yeah. So perfect. Um, so that answers that question. Paul Katzman from Atlanta says, hi, love the addition of the three pin limo options. Absolutely huge for Axiant users. Yes. Um, <laughs> and Guy tells me that the sound is too clean, needs some natural sound mixed in for ambience. Um, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll uh, I don't know, we'll, we'll figure something out. Maybe we'll have some yodeling in the background. 
That'll be natural. Um, all right. So let me see what other questions we have from is Facebook. Is on me being too bright in my audio? Is that the feedback? It could be. I'll use softer, more dulcet tones. Is that what we're looking for? <laughs> it could be. No, there's a lot of good energy here. You always bring the energy. And I'm just checking Facebook. Um, so Eleanor says, I wasn't familiar with your company. Are you mostly geared towards sports? Sports is where we started. Mm -hmm. But ultimately... As a female, I'll talk from a female perspective, mm -hmm. all of our gear is rechargeable. Mm -hmm. So our, our methodology in our design is to remove everything from the user that the user wearer should not touch mm -hmm. and put it in the mic commander or the mic control. That means you've got a very sleek surface and because there's no batteries, it can be super thin. With the, remote, with the uh, mic commander, this can be provided to talent to put anywhere they want. Yep. So and that's, that's very gone. slim. Yeah. I don't need a basketball or a hockey puck <laughs> to be able to take advantage <laughs> of the player mic. And that, that's not even bothering me. Mm -hmm. I have one under this arm already. So if I can, in the privacy of my own dressing room or environment, put this on in standby mode, place the microphone wherever makes me comfortable, I know nobody is going to be interfering with me right, right. while I'm trying to be in my zone. And that brings it full circle to our tagline, great wireless audio begins with comfortable talent. Got it. With great talent comes great, what? No, I don't know. Oh, yeah. <laughs> great responsibility. Good comes great responsibility. Um, so uh, what is it? Ray asked if the analog has IR sync window. No, because it, it can't be you can't receive there's, infrared from... There's no from, other side right. on an analog receiver to do anything with it. That's right. purely a function of the relationship with Shure. Right. Yeah, exactly. And it's, if you were going to do... You couldn't have IR with Wizzy and Electro and Sennheiser and... and, and you, you use the mic commander for that. Correct. Yeah, perfect. And there's modes that establish that. Perfect. Okay. Um, that is Facebook. I'm going to pop back to YouTube and see if there are any additional questions there. Um, oh, here we go. Um, so Almanox gave me a tagline, uh, make your production audio safe and sound. That's good. Safe and sound. I like that. That's Perfect. great. Uh, now, if we can only work in the communication aspect, we'll figure it out. But Almanox, that is fantastic. Thank you. Um, Nancy, anything else you want to tell us? It's always such a joy. Like, literally, you bring I the joy every good, time we're I here. I think that's a good oh, What's your favorite color? What's my favorite color? Yeah, we've been talking about this. Um, I would say pretty close to the top of the Radio City Music Hall. Uh, that purple. This purple? I would say okay. that's where I am these days. All right, we got a purple. All right, very good. That's your, uh, you're in good company. Violet. There have been, ooh, there we go. Violet. Okay. Very good. Uh, well, Nancy, thank you so much. Uh, thank you, everybody who, uh, who tuned in and chimed in and said all the things. Uh, we are going to be back with more from NAB 2024 soon. Stay tuned.